Hello everybody, welcome back. As you can see here, in my hand, I've got a fairly complex Turk's head here. And this is a, an eight byte, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight byte Turk's head. And today's exercise is not actually the making of the Turk's head itself, but it's actually when you say, for example, you go onto the internet and you look for, say, for example, how to make a so many byte Turk's head, Sometimes you go to a website and you end up with something like this or this or this and you go, what the hell was that? Okay, and so what I'm going to do to you for you today is just explain to you what these letters and numbers mean or what these arrows and numbers mean and then the OU, OU, etc, etc that's written on there. But what I've done is at the end of this video I have put a link to this particular piece of paper that I've got here that I've done up for you um, to make an 8 byte Turk's head. But what I'm going to introduce you to today here is the Turk's head tool. Right, let me point some things out with regards to this tool. This tool itself will make this Turk's head. Now the first thing you'll notice is that it is flat, it's just a board. And basically, if you think about the Turk's head, it's round here, but as soon as we flatten it like so, we can actually make it on our board. So basically, this is a cylinder flattened. Okay, and the other thing you'll notice on our board here is the following. The first thing is, we've got a hole just at that corner there. See, there's a hole in there, and that is to lock off our cord when we are first starting. Then, along our board here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So there's actually twenty holes in there at the top and at the bottom. And what we can do is, in these holes, we can put our grub screws, basically known as grub screws, but you can use wooden pins, metal pins, depends what you make your tool from. And you screw your pins in, and the number of pins you have at the top and the bottom determines the amount of bites that we are going to create for our Turk's head. So in other words, if I go back to this horrible sort of looking recipe here, I can see that this is an eight byte Turk's head. So I know for a fact that on my board, I need to have eight screws across the top and bottom. And basically those screws go all the way through. So in other words, one screw does two. Okay, right, another thing that you can do as well that is quite useful is that we can actually get some masking tape for this. Right, so I've just got my, I had to pause then because I forgot the masking tape. So what I'll do now is I'll just get some masking tape and what I'm going to do is just to make it, when you, once you're used to using it, you don't need to use the masking tape at all. But what I'll do is I'll put a length of masking tape all the way around our work like so. Take it like so, it doesn't have to be that neat. And then pull it off and just tuck the ends over. So that's the top one done. And then I'll do exactly the same for the bottom here. Round the back. Oh. Like I say, it doesn't have to be too neat. It's only a guide for you when you're using it. And take off the excess. Okay, so I've got myself now some masking tape around the top and bottom of my work. Now, the right way up is when you're holding the board that hole there, the top left hand hole, should be at the left hand hole, at the left hand side. And that is where we are actually going to put our standing end of our paracord through. So in other words, when I made this, that piece there was through that hole. But I'll show you that in a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to number the pins. So I'm going to go one, two, three four, turn it over, five, six, seven, eight, and then at the bottom we're going to go one, two, three, 
four, five, reminds me of Sesame Street, this, six, seven, eight. Okay, there we go. We've now numbered our board. And this is going to help us when we're using our guide here. Now, the other thing that we can do as well, just to remind us, is we can put the letter A at the top and the letter B at the bottom. Do the same on the other side. A at the top, B at the bottom. Now it's starting to make a bit of sense here. Because on the chart here, it's saying we start at A1 and go to B4. So in other words, there's A1, there is B4 at that point there. So that's the route we've got to follow. And in the end, when we follow that pattern, this is where we're going to create a nice 8 by Turk's head. Now, the answer is, if we wanted to, I can't remember how many holes I said there was, but we could do a 10 by Turk's head, a 12, 14, 16, 18. I think we went up to 20. 20 was the maximum we could do on this actual board. So if you want a Turk's head with 20 bytes, find yourself the pattern of what to do and then set up your pins accordingly. So if we wanted to do a 20 byte Turk's head, we would have to have 20 pins sticking out of our board here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is, gosh, I'm getting ink all over me. Next thing I'm going to do is just unravel this because we might as well use this again. And I will show you then how to make an eight byte Turk's head on this particular board here. Okay, so just let me undo that and I'll be back to you with you in a okay, second. Okay, so as you can see, I have put my paracord through the pilot hole there, or that hole at the top there where you can lock it off from. That hole is fairly small on mine, so it locks the paracord in place anyway. And that is pin A1, and that is our starting point. Now, if I go to the instructions here, at the top, depending on which set of instructions you find, it will say A1 to B4, or A1 and an arrow down to B4. Okay, so I can see here instantly that I've got to go from A1 to B4. So it's a straight line from A1 to B4. Now the next thing my instruction is saying is go from B4 to B to A8. So I go turn it over and I go to A8. So there's the eighth pin. It's already numbered up there and we go to A8. Next thing it's saying, go from A8 to B3. So go A8, cross over, and B3. Then, the next instructions it's saying is go over, from B3, go over to A7. So when it says over, or an O, it means we're crossing that line there, we're going over it. So we just basically hold it on there like that, over there, so we're going from three over to seven. And there's the number seven, and we just wrap our cord around it so. Then it says on the instructions, we're going from A7 to B2. So A7 to B2. So A7, turn it over, and there is pin B2 at the bottom there, and we are now at B2. Then from B2, it is saying, go over and under to A6. So now this is where we're going to start threading. So I've got the end of my cord here. I'll just load up my paracord onto the needle. So it says B2, over, under. So over this one here, under that one there, to A6. So we'll just take all that through. So it's going over and under those two cords. Just make sure it stays on the peg there. There we go. Pull it up nice and tight. And so that is B2 to A6. Turn it over and there is A6. And then hold that in place like so. Then A6 is going, saying going, say goes over and under, so we're going to go over that one and under that one to B1. So over and then under. So what I'll do is just take my cord like so, pass it underneath that second one there, like so, pull it all through, like so, 
Well, I've got a knot in it, as you do. There we go. So what we've done is we've gone from A6 over that one there and under that one there. And then it says A6 is going across and then down over under to number one. So B1, there is B1. And we'll just hold that in place with our finger there, like so. Next thing it's saying is go from B1. It says go over, under, over to A5. So we're going over, under, that one there. And it's just basically following the recipe. It's so easy to do. You know, once you get used to it, and in fact, when you, when you really get used to it, you don't even need the numbers on your card here. You just get so used to it without. And so it said B1 to over, under, over to A5. And there is A5, so we'll take it there. Trust me, that is A5. It's hidden now, but we're at that point there. Now, A5, it's saying go over, under, over to B8. So we're going to go over that one there, under that one there, and over that one there. So I'll just get my cord, go under, over, take it out of the way, like so, take it out, keep going, get all the snakes wedding through. Okay, so we've gone over, under, over, and around peg eight there. Then B8 is then going to A4, and on its travels, it is going over, under, over, under. So it's going over that one there, then it's going under this one here. So we'll take it under that one there. So keep pulling it through, blah, 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 blah. And then over, over the next one, under the final one there. And don't forget, Turk's heads are hungry for cord. And then over to A4, okay? So that's the route we've taken. And the next thing it says is from A4, we want to go over, under, over, under to B7. So it's going over, over that one there, under that one there, whoops, just missed it, under, over, under, to B7. Okay, and then there we are, we're at B7 now, and then B7, it's saying over, under, oh, it's a lot of overs and unders now, we're getting more and more overs and unders. So basically we start off, it's going over one, under one. And we're aiming for A3. So it's gone under, over, under, then over to A3. So under, like so. Hold it all in place. and then over to A3. And now we're at A3 now. Next thing is, the instruction says over, under, over, under, over to B6. So we're going over there. So we want to go under that one there. So it's over, under, and to make sure it doesn't fall off the pin. Once it's locked on that pin, we can then turn it over. Whoops. Pulled it through when I shouldn't have. Just make sure you don't tangle them up. It's easy to undo anyway, so I mean, it's not a massive problem. Okay, and so there we go. And then we're going round the other side. And where are we aiming for? We've started at three. So three is aiming for six. So we've just gone under. We then go over that one, under that one, over that one, round to pin six. So under over, under, and over to pin six, okay?
And like I said, that will this this particular formula will be at the end of the um, video for you. So if you want to copy this one, feel free to use it. Okay, so we've now gone to B6. B6 is then saying we want to go over, under, over, under, over, under to 2. So we're going over. And basically, if you get slightly lost, if you look at the one next to it, you want to do the opposite of what that's doing. Because it's a Turk's head, it's usually the opposite of what the one next to it's doing. So we pull that through. So we're going under that one. Over that one. We want to be under that next one here. So we'll take it on this side, take it under. Take it under like so. And you can see I've got less and less cord each time as I do this. Okay. And don't forget, if you like it, say hello, leave a comment, a thumbs up, thumbs down. And let's see, we're under, over, under to B2. A2, sorry. So over, under, over, under to A2. That's me A, it just looks, there's A, you see? Now it's the right way up, you can see it properly. Okay, and then A2 is saying go over, under, over, under, over, under to B5. So in other words, we've got a lot of threading to do now. You see the threading's just getting more and more. So we're going over that one, under that one there. Pull it through. Over that one, under the next one. Like so. Over the next one, under the final one there. Like so. Whoop. And a good knot's appeared. Under there, round pin B5. So there we are, we're at pin B5. And the next thing it's saying from there is go over, under, over, under, over, under to pin A1. And that is our final leg. So here we go, going over that one, under. There we go, pull that through. Take it to the next one. So we're going over one, then under one. So basically you see there's two going over here. So we want to go the opposite. There's two going under here. We're doing the opposite. We're going over this one, under that one. It's not too difficult. Once you get a few of these um, paper templates or whatever it is, I'll go, maps. I suppose they're maps, aren't they? Um, it's very easy to follow them and make your own Turks there. So we've gone over that one. We're now going underneath this one here. Take it underneath and then, all going well, there we are. We are now back at pin one, okay? And so now that we are at pin A1 there, the next thing that we can do is, this is what I like to do, is personally, I like to go follow that lead there, just under and over, just through those two there, like so, just to lock it into place. Because then, the next thing that we would do is, we would take this off our jig, board, whatever you want to call it, okay? So now, we have now, this is a Turk's head, it's a flat Turk's head at the moment, but we have now tied an eight byte Turk's head on this um, particular board. And so the next thing we can do is, all you need to do is just lift the bytes off the pins that are holding it. So there you go, turn it over, lift the, the bytes off, just gently prise them off, like so, and now, it's all loosening up. We can then just slide it, take that lead out of the pilot hole, and then just slide it off of there. And you can see now, we've got a nice eight byte Turk's head that started to form here, okay? And so the next thing I would do is, I would then go round, and where I've already, you can see here, that's the lead where I started from. That's crossed over there, so let's uncross that. So uncross that, and then now you can see here, all I'm going to do now is basically follow the lead to the right-hand side of that. So at that point there, it is going under. 
So I'm just going to follow that lead and go under there and pull up all the slack. And then gradually you can see what we're doing is we're actually doubling up as we go around. So I'll just follow that all the way around till I get to the end and then I'll come back to you again for a little bit more on that. So I'll see you again in a second. One thing I did forget to say was I haven't doubled any more up so don't worry we've jumped we haven't jumped anywhere but one thing I was going to say was that you usually make your Turk's head on a board like this and then once you've made it you then put your Turk's head onto the object say for example this was a pipe or something like that that you want to cover and then go round and tighten up doubling and trebling as you go round. so yeah that's that's all you do so that's the whole idea of this board it's easy to make it on this board you then take it off this board and then put it on the staff or whatever object walking stick anything like that that you want to cover and so that is just doing it um, using this board method so what I'll do is I will go around and double up and then you can just see that it's in better effect then Right, so as you can see I've done two passes here now and it's turning out to be a nice 8 byte Turks head. I can if I want to now take my needle round and go round for a third pass so in other words all the way round we would have three rows but as you can see it is a rather lovely little Turks head and you can shake this around throw it about now it will hold its shape but the whole idea then is to actually make it on this board itself and follow the instructions that you will find on various websites etc just put your pins in the right places mark your pins up correctly and just follow the instructions whether it or not it says go from A1 to B4 and then B A4 over under over under to B7 or it has a chart like this you'll be able to now follow either of these charts on a board like this so that really brings us to the end of this little session here. Just leaves me to say once again, thanks very much for watching. Um, thanks to certain viewers as well. There's one viewer that doesn't like it when I get the big knife out. So he'll be very pleased today. No knives whatsoever that I remember anyway. Um, and so anyway, yeah, that is the end of that. So once again, thanks very much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you hated it. But if you hated it or liked it, leave me a comment. Let's get chatting. I chat to a lot of people in comments now. I'm not that famous where I can't, but I'd like to be at the point where I can't chat anymore, but I'm nowhere near that yet. Okay, so please do leave me a comment. And there is also a link in my section if you want to show me some of your work. You can actually upload your work in the, in the comments section. There is a link to somewhere where you can upload your work for me to have a look at because I do love seeing other people's work of stuff that they've created as well. So there we have it. We've got an 8 by Turks head and it's done on a Turks head jig, not board, something like that. Okay, so once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.